In today's health alert, new research suggests that hitting the snooze button on your morning alarm won't hurt your health. Some of the best news all week. The study was published in the Journal of Sleep Research and found that snoozing doesn't affect the quality of sleep or thinking abilities. Our chief health editor, Dr. Partha Nandy, joins us with more. And Dr. Nandy, this new research might actually be encouraging. So thanks for the validation. Yeah, more than that, Dave over there was like, hallelujah. So I'm not typically a snooze person, but I know many people who, who are. And this sounds like positive news for them, right? So the research involved two studies. The first study looked at the habits of 1,732 adults. 69% of them reported setting multiple alarms or using the snooze button at least some of the time. Now, these snooze sessions, as they call them, varied from one minute to 180 minutes. That's a lot. But overall, the average was about 22 minutes per morning, with many reporting falling black, back to sleep in between alarms. Also, the snoozers tend to be younger and more likely to be identified as night owls, not early birds. As for the second study, it focused on 31 participants, three nights in a lab, and had cognitive and cortisol levels tests, so much more sophisticated testing. Researchers found that after hitting snooze over a period of 30 minutes, the group lost only about six minutes of sleep, and it didn't seem to affect stress hormones, morning tiredness, mood, or the quality of their overnight sleep. Some of the participants even informed, uh, performed actually better on cognitive tests after snoozing compared to waking up immediately. So good, good stuff. So why do some of us snooze and some of us prefer to get up on that first alarm? Well, so the, the most common reason, Glenn, the people reported hitting the snooze button was because they felt too tired, right? Now, interestingly, two other reasons people hit snooze was it feels good and it lets <laughs> them wake up more gently. Now, this makes sense, right? It seems to help some individuals transition from a deep sleep to a lighter stage, making it easier to get out of bed. Now, while some snoozing seems harmless, it's important to make sure you're getting enough sleep overall, right? Because consistent poor sleep can have a detrimental uh, impact on your health. According to the American College of Cardiology research, around 8% of deaths, that's a lot, could be linked to unhealthy sleep patterns. On the flip side, getting enough high quality sleep can potentially extend your lifespan as it affects both your heart and overall health. And then if you like hitting the snooze button overall, it doesn't appear to impact your day, Glenda, if it's <laughs> 30 minutes or less. Dave, if it's more than 30, it's not good. Mm -hmm. It may even help night owls think more clearly and feel more awake upon rising. So the old uh, saying that you snooze, you lose may no longer be, <laughs> be true. And I, you know, I said I normally don't snooze, but sometimes I hit those bad boys. All right. Yeah. That extra eight minutes is something about You know, it's like a lifetime. It. Exactly. <laughs> All right. Thanks a lot, Doc. Appreciate it. My pleasure. It. Well, be sure to tune in this weekend for the Dr. Nandy Show. This week, the doc is examining infertility and medical factors that contribute to some people not being able to conceive. He also speaks to a husband and wife about their journey with infertility. That's this Sunday, 5 p.m., right here on 7.